This was the scene at the Shetler family dairy farm after a night of devastating loss. Friends, family, and community members all came to show their support for a family that has been giving back to its community since 1979. The Shetlers are very, very generous people. Um, they're involved in a lot of community activities. Um, George um, was involved in a lot of the um, the boards in the community here in Kalkaska, and of course, you know, they reach many lives with the products they sell here. Donated groceries baked goods, and household items filled the tiny store. While last night's blaze destroyed the farmhouse, the dairy was not impacted and back open today. The cows have to be milked. Um, the milk has to be bottled because we've got to take it out tomorrow and it's got to be delivered. Um, it's just something that they do. It's just in their blood as, as farmers and any farmer out there will know that just because you have a devastation doesn't mean that the work stops. George and Sally Shetler started the dairy farm nearly 34 years ago, the same year they purchased their beloved farmhouse where their five children grew up. It just was a revolving door and people were are so welcomed by this family um, and that's that's the thing about the Shetler family is they've got such giving hearts and they're so open to um, to people. A few partially burnt pictures and the family Bible are all that is left after the fire. You always have your memories, but those small things are what triggers those memories a lot of times, and um, those things have been lost. With all of this love and support keeping the Shetlers busy, the only thing George has had time to think about is how thankful he is. I want to thank the community, the firemen, the police, and the outpouring of help from our community, our customers, and so many people for helping us out where they can, and we just appreciate everyone. And I just thank you, and God bless everybody. In Kalkaska County, Megan Morelli, 7 and 4 News.